Hey guys, I just wanted to give you an update. I am not dead. I'm so sorry that I haven't posted for two months. I can't believe that it's been that long and that time just kind of speeds up in this weird, like I don't really know what's happening. Um, but I, I thought I'd give you a quick update about what I've been up to and what to expect for me in the future. <sighs> okay, so I started about two months ago. I got invited last minute to the Sydney 100K party. So. Um, there's a few different YouTube organized events in Australia, most of them are in Sydney, and this one was a special one, it was their first party for people with subscribers over, uh, it was the first party for people with over 100,000 subscribers. Um, so I got invited to that pretty last minute and bought some last minute plane tickets, flew on over and got to meet a bunch of really cool YouTubers. Um, I think the highlight of that was meeting Natalie Tran. I've watched her for like seven years and I think she's hilarious. She's very, very funny in real life as well. I really wish that she'd be my best friend. And I met people like Sketchy and met Bonnie Corbin, who I get to hang out with at IMATS as well, which is super fun. And then on the way home from Sydney, I stopped in Melbourne to see my friend Mark, aka, AKA Powder, and we did this cool collab where we literally uh, cut a hole in his table and made it look like my head had been cut off. So that was, <laughs> that was pretty cool. You can check that out on his channel. And then when I was in Melbourne, I super last minute booked tickets to go to Monster Palooza. The airfares were ridiculously cheap going from Perth, which is on the west coast of Australia, all the way across the east coast, and then all the way around over the Pacific Ocean to LA. So I bought super last minute tickets to go to LA, I bought my Monster Palooza tickets. Um, and that was prompted, like, one, by the cheap airfares, obviously, but also the lineup of people that were doing demos there was insane. So many of my makeup idols, my favorite makeup artists, these Oscar-winning, just geniuses are going to be there applying makeup, and you can sit, and you can watch them, and you can ask them questions, and I just, I would have hated myself if I'd missed it. So I um, spent all of my savings, and I went to Monster Palooza, and it was friggin' crazy. Like, it was the one of the best trips I've ever had in my entire life. And the people that I met and the people that I got to talk to, it's just like, it was better than I could have imagined. And after Monster Blues, I also contacted a bunch of different workshops. And so I, I got to tour Legacy, like one of the biggest makeup, you know, workshop studios, like in the world. Um, I got to go and see Tinsley's studios. I got to see ADI, which had the hands down coolest showroom ever. Oh my God, all this Alien vs Predator stuff, it was insane. Um, and I got to go to Vincent van Dyke's studio, which is one of my all-time favorite studios and the people there and the work they do is just like, it's, it's amazing. Um, and at Vincent's studio, I got to meet one of my favorite makeup artists and painters of all time called Tom Flouts. And he actually showed me how he paints with silicone. He showed me what kind of airbrush he uses, what products he uses. And he gave me like a, like a demo of how he applies burns with his um, cat plastic for, for Grey's Anatomy, which he works on. So that was just one of the coolest days of my entire life. I couldn't believe how lucky I was. Um, yeah, I also got to go to George Duchel's studio and see his stuff. So it was all, it was all really, really good. Um, I think one of the first people that I met at Monster Palooza was Steve Wang, who's also one of my favorite painters and makeup artists. And I am pretty sure my face was just like, you know, and just totally just socially inept at that point. I didn't, he was the first big name that I saw and I just, I didn't know how to be normal. And he said that I looked excited and I said, yeah, I'm really excited to see you. And I think he said something like, oh, I thought you were excited by my work. And I probably stammered, oh yeah, yeah, that too. And just, uh, I got better from there. And uh, <laughs> it's just, yeah, it was a totally overwhelming, amazing weekend. Um, I also got to meet Greg Kenham and we did a little demo of PPI's glazing gels, which he's kind of the expert in and I wanted to learn more about it. So Eric from PPI hooked that up and you can see that video on my Facebook page where he kind of demos it and, and talks a little bit about the glazing gels. Uh, yeah, uh, I think my, and I think my favorite demo of the whole weekend, the one that looked just so insanely realistic, even when I could see it with my own eyes, I could see every bit of the texture and coloring because it's kind of different if you see it through a screen versus if you see it with your own eyes, and usually things look better through a screen, but this makeup, it somehow looked even better in real life. And that was Bill Corso's makeup on his wife, and it was a Lady Deadpool, and that was just mind-blowingly amazing, so. And I also got to meet um, three of my online friends, and it's kind of weird, because you can have these people that you feel like are your best friends in the whole world that you talk to all the time, but I had never met them in person before. So um, one of them is Bobby Ella. Um, you guys probably follow her on Instagram and she was kind enough to pick me up and drop me off from the airport and we got to hang out a bunch and she's hilarious. Uh, another one is Mikey, obviously, which you guys saw because um, we were Snapchatting our sleepover and <laughs> so much junk food. And oh, man, she's one of the most 
um, charismatic people that I've ever met. Like she just holds your attention and she's so great and so happy. And then also obviously Angie as well from Goldie Styling because we did a couple of collaborations. Two are up on her channel now if you want to check them out. We did a creepy clown makeup on our friend Will. Um, and so Will brought the foam latex prosthetics um, from RBFX and he kind of taught me, or and he and Angie taught me how to apply foam latex because I hadn't done that before. And there was also a Marie Antoinette look that Angie did on me. And we also sculpted some prosthetics when I was there. We didn't get to apply them, unfortunately. We did run out of time. So I brought the prosthetics and the molds back here and I applied them on myself, creating this creature, which I'll have a tutorial up for hopefully in the next couple of weeks. And then I came back to Perth and I kind of hit the ground running trying to finish stuff for my exhibition. So I had one week to get everything finalized for the photos to be printed. So I had to apply two or three more makeups to, to re-photograph them so they'd fit in with the exhibition better. Um, and then I had a week to finish off editing all the video pieces that were going to be in the show. And then right in the height of getting everything ready for the show, I was also approached to make something for a TV show, which ended up being really cool. And I went back to finishing off everything for the show. The last thing I had to do was finish off running a couple of prosthetics that were on display and to make plaster heads to display everything on. So it was like right up to the day before the show, I was just like running around trying to get everything finished. It was a really long two week, <laughs> it was a really long two week period. Um, but, uh, it, but it all got done and the show looks great. I'm really happy with it. There's been a lot of positive reception. So, um, my first solo art show has opened it's at the Fremantle Art Center in Perth, well in Fremantle, and it will be running until the 19th of July. There's large scale video projections, there's photographs, and there's masks and prosthetics in the flesh that you can see. So if you are a Western Australian local and you happen to be around Fremantle and you wanted to check it out, that would be awesome. So that finally, you know, all kind of finished uh, last Friday and then I could sleep again <laughs> and catch up with my friends again and start editing YouTube videos again. So you should see some more stuff up on my channel very soon. I still gotta finish off the infected knee in-depth tutorials for those that find that helpful and also obviously the, the Goldie Styling collaboration. And the other new thing that I wanted to talk to you about is I've decided to create a second channel where I talk about skincare stuff and I talk about beauty makeup stuff um, because those are also things I'm very passionate about but I don't feel like they fit in as well on this channel. Looking at the different demographics, it's about a 50-50 male-female split um, and I just feel like maybe a, a lot of the dudes probably I'm more into seeing the gory stuff rather than seeing the beauty makeup side of things. So instead of alienating the subscribers who have come to expect a certain thing from this channel, I wanted to make a second channel and put all that stuff on there. So if you are interested in beauty makeup tutorials, chatting about beauty products, chatting about skincare, any of that stuff, and you want to watch more of me, you can check that out here. I'm going to name it Fleekmo, which is David's suggestion, which I thought was kind of funny. So <laughs> hopefully the word fleek isn't too out of fashion already, but you know, we'll... Uh, We'll deal with that when that happens. So yeah, the first set of videos, I filmed the makeup that I've applied today, talking about my favorite foundations, foundation brushes, concealers, contour powders, blushes, highlighters, my favorite eyebrow products, my favorite eyeliner, my favorite long lasting lipstick, all of that stuff. So I'm gonna put those into a few different videos on there. I'll probably also put them into the playlist on this channel under the beauty and skincare thing. So you won't get notified when there's like uploads and stuff on this channel, it won't be uploaded on this channel, but if you scroll through the home page, it will be there under a playlist of beauty and skincare, but hosted on um, hosted on the other channel, if that makes sense. And I think the, I think the other advantage of doing that as well is it, it's very, very fast to apply beauty makeup and film that and edit it. I could film one morning and edit in the afternoon and have it up that night um, fairly easily. Whereas, I mean, I can do that as well with the FX makeup. Uh, but as I'm doing bigger and bigger looks and I'm getting more into sculpting and mold making, sometimes things can take uh, weeks to finish. Like the clicker mask took three or four weeks to, to film and edit. So, you know, I feel like I can have more frequent uploads if I'm, you know, kind of sprinkling it with beauty videos as well. And I do also want to do a few less intensive FX makeup tutorials so that I can get more content out for you guys as well. Um, yeah, so that's, that's my life. That's what I've been doing. So this week I am free again. I should have started editing stuff sooner, but I just I was so tired. I just wanted to sleep. And my little brother also bought Uncharted 4, which is the biggest detriment to my productivity because I've been playing the PlayStation instead of editing. So we're gonna try and find a good work-life balance now that it's calmed down a little bit. 
Anyway, thank you so much for sticking with me. Thank you for your patience and understanding. I really want to get cool content out to you guys. I'm sorry that I just kind of disappear sometimes. I think being a freelance makeup artist and being a YouTuber at the same time, sometimes you got to jump on the jobs that are given to you here. And for me, it was the solo art show and other stuff would come up in the future. I think as well, if I take on the external jobs, and kind of have my own home studio. I learned so much in those experiences that I can then bring back to the YouTube channel and be like, oh, this is how I do it in the industry because I'm kind of part of the industry now too. Uh, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye.